Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to review the Tado X Smart Radiator Valves. Now, I recently reviewed the brand new Tado X Smart Heating System, and these are designed to pair perfectly with it. As with the Tado X, at the time of recording, I've been using the Tado X for about two weeks. That's the main system, but also these radiator valves. But I am also a long-term user of Tado, and I've used their V3 Plus for about three years before upgrading it. It's also worth saying at the start of this video that I've got no affiliation with Tado. I purchased the Tado X myself, and I purchased the V3 Plus myself. Now, I always make honest reviews whether a company sends me something or not, but it's worth just sharing that I paid for this myself at the start of this video, because I know some people do care about that. So this smart radiator valve from Tado can be used on radiators if you don't already have a smart thermostat. At that point, it will basically control the temperature of the room that it is in as long as your heating is on. It is, however, best paired with something like the Tado X. That's because it can then turn your boiler and your heating on if the temperature drops below a certain level. Now, I reviewed the Tado X a few days ago, and I'll link that review below. Now, let's start with price. Now, the price is going to depend on if you need a Tado X bridge or not. Now, this is matter over thread compatible, and so for Apple users, you might already have a compatible bridge in your smart home. So that could be something like a HomePod Mini a second generation HomePod, or a second or third generation Apple TV 4K. If not, you are going to need a Tado Bridge X. Now, Tado do a starter kit for these valves that includes a Bridge X and one radiator thermostat, and that will cost you £140. If you want to pick one up on its own without a bridge, it will cost you £80. But they also bundle packs together, so you can get four for £270. And I'll put links below to both of these on Tado's website and Amazon, because prices really do vary between the two sites. It's also worth noting that if you already have any of the Tado V3 setup, it is not compatible with the Tado X setup. It's also worth saying that when migrating, you basically have to delete your entire house and add it again. So if you've already got schedules, you're gonna to want to take some screenshots. As I said in my Tado X review, this is probably the thing that Tado have really not thought about when coming up with the Tado X. Or I suspect because it's on matter over thread rather than their previous ecosystem, it actually needs to work like that. So let's talk about design. So the Tado X radiator valve has a whole new design with a new forward-facing display. Although depending on your radiator setup and where your valves are, this might be on top or underneath or to the side. You can also twist it so side angle it if your radiator is say behind your sofa and you want to be able to see it from the side. That front has the black screen and the rest of the device is white and rounded and looks like a radiator valve. The display is clearer than the previous generation and you can push it to make a selection or wake it up and then twist it to adjust things. The back of it has a removable puck, which is the battery. This is charged by USB-C, although you don't get a cable in the box. Personally, most people have got a USB-C cable kicking around, so Tado not including one is probably a good thing. Tado selling one for £15 on their website is a bit weird, because who's paying £15 for a USB-C cable? And in fact, other than a set of six adapters for different radiator valves, that's all you get in the box. Which leads nicely to talk about specification. So firstly, this device has a ridiculous 10-year warranty, which goes for all of the Tado X range. Then for compatibility, it works with matter over thread. As I said earlier, this means you might not need a separate hub. If you've got the Tado X wireless kit, you also won't need a separate hub because that wireless receiver acts as one. Alongside working with Apple Home, it also works with Alexa and Google Home. Now, I've only used it with Apple Home, so I'm not going to talk about those others in this video. So as I said, this device is powered by a removable USB-C rechargeable battery. If you want to get spare batteries so you have absolutely no downtime ever, you can pick them up for £25 each. However, they don't take a huge amount of time to charge and they have a white light on which will turn static when it is fully charged. They also come fully charged, which is great. Although Tado don't say how long the battery life will last for. When one of these eventually dies out, I'll put a message below and let you know how long it did last for. That screen is an LCD display and looks much better than the previous generation and is also brighter. There is also a child lock mode which can be toggled on in the Tado app. That will stop the functions on the device being able to be controlled so a child couldn't come up and turn your heat into 25. If you need to, you can also change the orientation of the screen on the device. Now I'll put a link below to my short on how to do that because this isn't clearly explained in Tado's instructions. It is, however, super simple and the short is 30 seconds. Then for compatibility, as I said, it comes with six different adapters to cover most thermostatic radiator valves. If you don't already have a thermostatic radiator valve, you are gonna to need to get one and get a plumber to install it before you can have one of these. That's obviously gonna have extra cost. So let's talk about setup and installation. If you already have a thermostatic radiator valve, installation is as simple as unscrewing the top of the existing one and screwing the Tado one on top instead. I've installed these in two houses with different valves and they all literally just screw on. It takes about 30 seconds. As I said, if you don't already have a thermostatic radiator valve, you're gonna need a plumber. Next is into the Tado app. There you head into settings, rooms and devices and choose add a device. You can then either scan the included matter QR code, which is included on a separate card, or you can type in the code. 
I found the scanner in Tado app required you to be quite far away and actually typing the code was easier. You then follow the setup process and this includes adding it to Apple Home. If you use a third party service or an Android phone, of course, that won't be part of the process. Once set up, you're gonna to want to assign it to a room and then create a schedule. If you've already got another Tado product, the best starting point for a schedule is to copy one from another room. You can then tweak it to that room that it's in. You can also copy schedules between days. That means if you've got Monday set up perfectly and you want it to repeat for the rest of the week, you can just copy and paste. This is one of the best ways to set up schedules I've seen in an app for smart heating. And basically my setup is that I have three of these radiator valves in the upstairs rooms of my house. That means I can control those rooms a bit more. For example, it means I can keep the bedroom a little bit cooler and only heat it in the evening and morning. Likewise, I can just heat up my office during work hours. Now, one thing worth noting is that thanks to the matter support, these schedules get stored on the devices themselves. That means if your internet was to drop out, they'd still work. And the great thing about these separate schedules is they are nice and easy to tweak in the Tato app. So let's talk about using these radiator valves because that's what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. And the biggest thing I've noticed is that whilst the previous generation valves weren't going to wake you up, you could hear them working. You can't hear these Tato X radiator valves working at all. And this is a very impressive and very welcome change. And I've been using these with my Tato X wireless thermostat. That means they can turn on my heating if they need to. So if the bedroom gets super cold during the night, it can trigger my boiler to come on. And in my opinion, they do work best when you use it with the Tato thermostat as well to control your boiler. And once again, thanks to matter over thread support, this can also work offline if your internet was to drop off. In theory, you could also just have the internet on when you first set these up and get the schedule set up and then be offline forever. Although I don't think anyone who wants to be offline all the time is buying smart heating products. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. And in the two weeks I've been using these, I found that they are really reliable, that there's been no offline time and that they just do exactly what they say they should do. It's also worth noting that that screen doesn't turn on when a schedule kicks in. The only time that screen turns on is if you manually touch the dial or adjust the screen. If you do want to manually control it using a dial on a radiator, you can just twist it to the temperature you want. This is easy to adjust and works well. Now, if you are gonna use this feature regularly, you're gonna to want to think about how it affects the rest of your heating schedule. Now, out of a box, it automatically just overrides the temperature of that room forever. You can, however, adjust this by going into the Tado app, hitting settings, clicking into rooms and devices, and then choose the room you want to adjust, not the device. You can then see the manual control on Tado device and click that. The default option will say until you resume the schedule. However, personally, I think until the next time block makes more sense. You could also add a timer and say you only want it to run for an hour. The Apple Home integration is also great because you can control them from that if you want to. Although for me, I just use it as a place to monitor the temperature alongside other devices in my house. That's because the Tado app is so good at just having schedules running. And if you want to quickly boost something or change the temperature, you can in the Tado app. Of course, these valves also tie into some of the other functionality in the Tado app, so things like the ability to geofence, so to turn off your heating when you're not at home and turn it on when you get back home. Out of the box, this is something you'll get a notification to do when you leave home or get back home. You can then open the app and manually do that. If you pay for Tado's £30 a year auto assist, this will happen automatically. And this even works when the last person leaves and when the first person arrives, if you've got other people in your Tado house. Personally, I do think this is worth paying for, and I think this probably pays for itself in a year quite easily. So what's the downside? But as with all products, there's got to be a downside. So what are the downside of these? And the only real downside is the same downside as the previous generation, and one that I think you'd expect from a device going next to your radiator. And that is that the temperature readings from these isn't representative of the rest of your room. And that's because they're next to your radiator. What this means is that in order to get your room temperatures accurate, you're either gonna to need to adjust your schedules to heat them to a warmer temperature than you think, or, and probably the best way, is to use the offset feature. So if you go into one of these valves in the Tado app, there's a temperature offset feature. This allows you to adjust it up or down by a certain amount of degrees. Now, personally from using these, I recommend negative offsetting them by about two degrees. This seems to line up with another smart thermostat I've got in my room. And of course, having another temperature sensor in your room means you can actually accurately adjust this. But that's the only downside. So what's the verdict? So with a new rechargeable battery, a much nicer design and near silent operation, these Tado X radiator valves are fantastic. Whilst they are a bit pricey, especially if you're gonna kit out a whole house, they do give you the option of making your heating a bit more customized. And of course, in the long run, controlling temperatures for different rooms will save you money on your heating. And possibly if you use it for 10 years in that warranty period, it might even pay for itself. If you've got any questions about these, do stick them below. If you do want to pick them up, I'll put links to everything I've talked about in this video. Those links will go to Tado or Amazon in whichever country you're in. Those are affiliate links, so if you use those and make a purchase, I'll get a very small cut of what you spend at no cost to yourself. That helps this channel out. This isn't my full-time job. I don't get paid for reviews. I just make them to share my experiences with you guys. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. That does help this channel out as well. 
subscribe to my channel to see other reviews when they come out, and I'll see you guys again soon.